Hey, writer-director Stuart Robertson here, uh, talking about my upcoming film, Pragmatophobia. I also have uh, uh, main character Tyler Riley on, on, on board for Hi, this video. Everybody. We hey. also got Jacob Johnson, who plays the role of Josh. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be just talking about uh, the movie really quickly, um, doing a little bit of an update, a little bit of a progress talk here. So Pragmatophobia, um, this has really been... A hell of a time so far it's been a really involved film it's definitely taken so much time to do just because there's so much going on in it yeah a lot of ins a lot of outs a lot know, of ins a lot of outs yeah and valleys and stuff <laughs> but the filming uh the filming is going very well um the quality and footage of the film is just off the wall it it's, really is it's, it's staggering <laughs> like, 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 you know, I'm kind of surprised at how great the movie looks with the type of cameras we're using. And yeah. Stuff. Like, it's, wow. And I don't want to sound, you know, I don't want to sound pretentious or anything, but so far just watching what we've captured so far, like, it's just, I, I, I've been re-watching it. Like, the amount of comedy and awkwardness in the movie, as well as other themes, you know, like uh, the psychological elements, the really disturbing factors are really uh, just a great blend like the chemistry between characters is my favorite thing you actually see just you can actually like feel that these characters actually are friends yeah. like they're all just these shitty toxic people that are le learning how to grow up and survive and deal with the worst things that life could possibly throw at you in the worst time yeah. It's such an such an important film. The besides the plot, just what it offers and what it resonates on is re just really really beautiful to me. Yeah, yeah. And um you know, I like the energy of the actors. Like I digged Stewart's acting. Like our chemistry on camera was just like spot on. He was like yeah. He was like very convincing. Like I really felt like I was being yelled at. Yeah, yeah, there's there's a lot of emotions that really blend well. I mean, there's a lot of screaming, there's a lot of fighting, there's a lot of, you know, emotional scenes, there's scenes that were that were just losing our minds on it and just crying our eyes out and just really and that's the thing is that this film is just it's it's just reality. It's what it is. You know, pragmatophobia obviously means the fear of reality and that's what the movie's about. It's about reality. You know, it's about what life is to us, what love is, what nothing is to us, what death is. It's it's just wild. It's just a bipolar, anxiety-induced, coming-of-age, just chaos-filled movie. Yeah. It's, it's fucking wild. And people have been asking me, you know, what's the genre of the movie? I'm like, it's just... It's what Relapse was. You know, Relapse had themes of psychological, of coming-of-age, of drama... And it's just, it's an experimental film. It's just what it is. Yeah, it's kind of like a is. hodgepodge of, like, different genres and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like, you know, you know it's it's kind of experimental, but it's kind of not at the same time. It's just it's just a story. Yeah, yeah, it's a story. Yeah. And it's, that's, that's what I love about it, again, is just how much everybody is throwing out. Because I know that I, that we plan to, to uh, release this film in February, and, you know, it's not going to happen. It will probably, what we're aiming for is spring so it could be april yeah. it could be may but you know we are just on a grind here getting this film done yeah and we're gonna be working like extremely hard you know you know like two days a week it's yeah like two, two like, days a week like, you know 10 hours filming yeah thing out like like as as soon as possible but yeah i i i, uh, I read the ending um to you guys obviously you know and to uh z as well yeah. and that ending, I, I really don't see how I could have picked a much stronger, much more realistic, more better ending. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I mean, I I want to I don't want to go too much into this just because I want to save, uh, you know, some answers and some explanation for when we do the Q and A presentation at the premiere for this film when it comes out in the next couple months. But there is a lot going into this film and a lot coming out of it and I, and I think a lot that the audience are going to pick up from it I really think that this film will be you know really just a test of what we can each offer film wise yeah for sure I love the clothing choices everyone chose 
Yeah, definitely. Um, I really wanted to make sure that it really felt not just like the relapse sequel, but it really felt like it was actually in the same story. Like yeah. I wanted it to like I want you to be able to watch relapse because obviously we are gonna prelude the movie relapse before we screen this one at the at the showings. But I really wanted to be that the second that relapse ends. And this one starts, even though the start of the movie, Pragmatophobia, takes place before the events of Relapse, you really see just no difference other than the fact that the quality is a lot more involved, as well as, you know, the amount of people and the amount of story and whatnot. Yeah. Because I, really, I was really nervous about releasing Relapse. I remember when I first released it, I was like, you know, this is such a different film. And being a debut film and, and just being something that's just such a quiet more toned down film that's just kind of isolated i didn't know how that would work out but people seem to really enjoy it and again i've had pragmatophobia the idea since you know i mean me and tyler started writing this when we were like 19 so this has been in development for some time and it's just crazy to think of all that we've captured and how much of the movie that we've seen and it's just yeah it's it's lovely i've yeah, i, I it, really it, it, just yeah, appreciate the movie so much yeah it's like you know it's extremely gratifying to look at this poster right now. Yeah. Like, we're all pretty much bringing it, but look at Z, man. Like, <laughs> look at Z. Oh, my God. Like, the, and, what a punk, dude. And, I, like, and I, remember, awesome. I remember, like, you know, talking about, about the poster idea, and he was like, well, how do you want the poster? I'm, I'm like, okay, so, you know, there is a scene in Pragmatophobia that I won't spoil, but it does involve the character Josh that really sets the, the movie into full-blown motion. Yeah. And, you know, this obviously that we're looking at, this obviously isn't going to be a scene in the movie, but it no. will be pretty on board with what the scene will be. And it's just, I remember this scene that we're looking at, like, the way that I wrote it in the script is just, it is, what, how, how do I describe it? It is just, it, again, it really sets the motion for the movie. I mean, everything that happens, you know, before this scene is really great introduction, really great character development. There's a, Again, there's a lot of different scenes. There's some scenes that are just going to make you just lose your mind because they're so hilarious and the, the tone and the awkwardness and the chemistry of the characters. But then there's scenes where you just, you're just going to be telling yourself, like, I just, like, is this scene almost over because it is just that deafening to get through. I really wanted to go through every strength and every emotion I had to make this movie both humorous and just hard as fuck to get through. Like, this movie is, is fucking exhausting. It is a really relentless and exhausting film, but that's just what the what the movie is. That's that's all it can be. Yeah. And, you know, I, I don't know how everyone's going to view this movie, but I really do think that this is going to be the one that stands out from relapse i mean relapse you know people are still talking to me about it to this day it hasn't really let up you know there's always people that are asking to see it and you know coming to me with different questions that you know all the questions are going to be explained in pragmatophobia obviously you know my, my character is blood in relapse and as well as as, as the uh, therapist's background and where the character Stuart comes comes from you know, expressing why he's in therapy. That's all going to be revealed, but to the extent that we're catching on film, I didn't know it would go to that extent. It's so much larger than it is in script, and that's always how it's going to be, but this movie is just... I, I really didn't expect it to be everything that I had possibly imagined it to be, which is how it's coming out. Yeah. And... You know, I, I really think that this is going to be a real hell of a hell of an event when it when it screens in, in theaters in the next couple months. But yeah, we are very close to getting you know everything taken care of with the film. Uh, a trailer will be coming soon enough. I'm not going to say a date yet or even a month, but yeah. it is the next thing that we will be focusing on. We got the poster done, and after the poster, we will be focusing on the trailer, and then we will give a concrete release date. But yeah, yeah much, we will yeah. we will you know be back with another video, uh, probably towards the end of development. To be honest, um, probably we'll we will release one more video yeah. before the release of the film. But yes, this has been us just talking about 
what's been going on, uh, announcing the delay and announcing what's to come and just speaking upon the movie. So if you guys want to see another video, if you guys want to hear more, just let us know. Yeah, pretty it's exciting been, stuff, man. Yeah, I'm really excited to talk more at, at the at the premiere, obviously, with you know everybody involved Me too. in the movie. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's it's gonna be great, and uh, yeah, we're just gonna work our asses off. Yeah, it's it's getting there. We're getting there. Yeah, yeah. But thanks so much for tuning into this video, guys. Yeah, this has been uh, the cast and crew of Pragmatophobia, and we'll be coming back with one more video again, just exploring a lot more. A lot of exciting stuff around the around the corner.